informative speech. Here's my audience. Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to inform everyone the benefits of not eating meat. Um, maybe heard the saying, he's strong like an ox. Or even, you know, been to the rodeo and, and seen those, the bulls, you know, buck the riders off of their backs or even break the gates to their captivity. Um, when you ever wonder how the pyramids were built so long ago with those heavy concrete blocks, you know, just stacked on top of each other? How did they manage to do that without the technology and equipment we have today? Um, or even a rhinoceros, would you go one on one with a rhinoceros? It's a pretty strong animal. Um, just what I'm trying to get to the point here is that uh, some of these animals are the strongest to ever walk the earth and even stomp on the ground. Um, I mean, they, they're so strong and there's, they don't eat no meat, no protein. They're considered herbivore. Um, eat nothing but grass and plants and, and vegetables. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ox right here. One of the strongest animals you may ever come across. Um, these animals actually help build the pyramid just because they're so strong. They actually, uh, they would, it was a team of ox, a team of oxes and they would just push and pull these big concrete blocks and, you know, take them to there where they had to be and, and they would just move these big boulders and, you know, when it was time for lunch and time for these animals to eat, they would eat grass and leaves, no meat. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the bull. There's a picture from the rodeo. Uh, so these bulls, me personally, I've been to the rodeo and I've seen these bulls like break the gates that they're into. I mean, they're in these small containers and they, they break in the gates because they're just so strong. Um, and so, you know, I was doing some research and according to the PBR, professional bull riding, they, uh, you know, when it's time for them to feed their animals, they feed them a ton of hay, a ton of lettuce, a ton of grass, you know, because they don't, they don't eat meat. And they, yet again, they're so strong. You know, the, and you can find a lot of bulls sitting in the sitting in a wild field. You know, just dazed out on grass, eating a bunch of grass. So it has a, a lot of uh, you know, no meat. So next, the next I want to look into is a rhinoceros, which uh, it's a very strong, aggressive animal. I mean, a rhinoceros could probably run through a brick wall if it wanted to. <sighs> um, as well you can catch as well you can catch a rhinoceros lying in the desert you know lying in the wild in a grassland eating nothing but grass and no one messes with rhinoceros because they're so strong um, you know it's just it's crazy how these animals are the strongest but yet they don't eat no meat so now let's take a look at the benefits that it has on the human body Eating no meat actually lowers, it actually lowers your, uh, your chances of getting heart disease, your chances of getting cancer, your chances of, you know, a whole bunch of benefits. It expands your life expectancy, you know, of not intaking meat or not even eating meat or even toning it down, your consumption of meat, um, you know, it, it helps your body grow these plants and these plants and vegetables that you that you can consume, you can actually grow them in your backyard. You know, the different uh, foods that you can grow from the ground on trees, you can grow them and they have tons of benefits and nutrients and they're no meat. It's no meat. Um, just pretty much the benefits that it has is that it can help your body grow properly, naturally, and in the right, in the right way. Um, I've seen butchers actually cut the cancer out of pieces of meat and put it on the shelf, you know, 
pack it up, put it on the shelf, ready for it to be read, sent to your local store for purchases. And you know, that's just, I just, I wouldn't eat that, you know what I mean? I wouldn't, bullshit, I wouldn't put that inside of my body, a piece of meat that had cancer on it. So this is my personal preference. Um, but it is out there. Um, eating no meat has many more benefits than just your health. It helps with your hair growth, your strength, um, your hair strength, your nail strength, your bones, and etc. Just all throughout your body. It has tons of benefits. Also, if you're trying to lose weight, um, you know, meat, plants, um, if you do a comparison, plants and vegetables and fruits, they have less calories than meat. So when you, you know, let's say you're trying to lose weight, you would actually see faster results since you're intaking less calories, but you're still eating clean. At the same time, just natural ingredients. These fruits and vegetables have natural ingredients natural vitamins that's natural for your body to help your back body grow naturally mm. so you can see the results very fast if you were to you know stop consuming meat <sighs> um you know i'm not telling everyone they should stop eating meat completely um, but i mean you know if you're looking for a change if you're looking for a way to benefit your health expand your health and just lower down your opportunity of catching cancer or heart disease and these high risks that you may have that's in the meat. Um, you know, maybe consider intaking, you know, intaking a lower percentage of meat that you consume or possibly even cut meat out 100%. Well, I hope everyone considers to make this change um, about consuming meat um, and even lessen, you know, just to make the change and even lessen the intake of your meat, of the meat, um, it helps you with your, you know, your physical, your physical attributes, your physique, um, the meat intake, it can be beneficial, uh, taking a less intake of meat, it can be beneficial for yourself and those around you, thank you.